Hello viewers, how are you? Fantastic. Does your team look like mine's? No. Can it be as good as mine's? Yes. Should you use an effective strategy? I don't know. Do you like the way that I sound? Do you want a team that looks like it could place you on top of the smoke and leaderboard while wiping off that fap off your face? Of course you do. Pokeballs! All up in your opponent's mouth. So viewers, should your team be that sexy? You tell me. <laughs> yeah, that was funny, right, viewers? Oh my goodness, yeah, um, you're right, I definitely do need a new life. Anyway, what's happening, viewers? Kill out 2011 finally back again, bringing the close battles of yesterday and today, right? And I have a little bit of a tedious battle ahead of me, because I promised that you guys that I was definitely going to change my team, but I haven't necessarily gotten around to changing every single one of my team members yet, so I'm actually recycling team members such as this Fortress and Blissey from my last team, but I definitely did change around a little bit of movesets and such. But um, anyway, my opponent is definitely going to lead out with the Notori, as I think I just said before, and I'm just going to switch out into uh, Fortress just being that it's the ideal chance for me to set up entry hazards as well as spin off his own. Unfortunately for me, I went for the mistake of spinning off a little bit too early, forgetting that um, Notori is slower than my fortress. I was thinking the other way around, so after he set up one layer of spikes, I could just like, grab a spin, being that I am sassy natured. And um, I do have the blessing. I did actually pack the flamethrower, but I definitely did not want to stay and use flamethrower right off the bat. Um, and I just kind of wanted it to be a little bit more of a surprise factor, you know, kind of thing. So this forge, so not this fortress, this Solomon's comes in, right? And unfortunately for me, I do suffer a little bit too late, so I have to deal with a life war of Solomon's right now. I definitely don't have anything that is faster than this thing. Looking back at my team, I was like, what was I thinking? So he's just like spamming um, the Brick Break and the Fire Blast, trying to predict when, I'm definitely trying to predict when he's going to go off to use uh, the... Uh, Fire Blast again, just definitely going to get off the soft board, and then now I can just probably switch on to Glide Score, predicting him to go for the Brick Break, being that I do have this, um, the soft, not the soft board, the Seismic Toss, to, uh, accumulate damage on this thing, hoping this thing does not have the roots, but he gets off a D-Dance while I, um, switch out into Glide Score, and, um, he's definitely going to hit me with the Dragon Claw thing. God, that was not outraged because it definitely would have been able to take me out, being out his Life Orb, Stab, all that nonsense, and I hit this thing to Ice Fang, and, um, that is a dead Solomon. So I'm looking pretty good. I felt a sigh of relief until I saw this thing. So I'm like, great, this is going to be another threat I have to deal with, especially if this thing is packing a focus blast. So I'm like, let me just go out to Blissey. Maybe this thing might go for the U turn, predicting me to, um, you know, do something or whatever. But he definitely packs a focus blast. And not only does he hit me quite hard, holding the life orb, but he gets a special defense drop. So I can't stay in now with the, um, the Blissey and hope that maybe he gets minimum damage or whatever. And I'll just definitely survive it and um, soft boil off the damage. So I'm just going to have to switch back out into my Glide Score. He can afford to definitely go for the Focus Blast and then finish off the Glide Score with the Hidden Power Ice. I can't afford to switch back into Blissey, take the Hidden Power Ice on the other hand, and then take the Focus Blast. So I'm like stuck. I guess I have to sacrifice my Glide Score. So it was good seeing you, I guess. Jeez, uh, my Glide Score, man? Uh, what am I going to do against this thing? But at least it's in the orange now. So I'm just going to bring out uh, back in my Fortress, right? And I definitely do have the Shininja, but the problem with it is that he set up the spike, so I'm like hoping that this guy misses his focus, bla focus blast. Luckily for me, he does, so now I can bring back in my Shininja, and he can't touch me, ha <laughs> ha. So you're definitely going to have to switch out um, to do damage to my Shininja later on. He switches out to Vaporeon, which tells me that he's packing the, uh, what do you call it, the Toxic, so... I did actually predict it switch since that the Dinjin can touch my Shininja. Just gonna switch out into my um, Blissey. He goes for the Toxic on the Blissey anyway, which kind of gives me an indication that he is Wish in a sense. So I'm like hoping that he's not Wish Protect by any chance because that would be quite tedious to deal with. And I definitely don't have anything. What's wrong with me? I don't have anything for Vaporeon. I don't have anything for uh, Mens. What was I thinking? Anyway, I switch into my. Um, what do you call it? My tentacle on the switch, actually, right? Because I'm like, hey, Vaporeon can't necessarily do all too much to tentacle. It does, you know, it's only attacking move if I suspect that his wish protect would be a water attack move, right? So I'm just going to set up this chance to use, uh, use this chance, actually, to set up the toxic spikes of my own. But unfortunately for me, he's just going to uh, bring in this thing. He scares me with the psychic, and I definitely do want to save, uh, both of my rapid spinners, being that Tentacle is definitely a rapid spinner. Otherwise, I would have just set up another layer of Toxic Spice and sacrificed Tentacle for the ideology of both having both layers of Toxic Spice on the field. But um, unfortunately, he does pack the Shadow Ball, so I'm like, oh, great. Why didn't I think of that? And um, 
He's definitely gonna hit my Shininja, breaking his focus sash. I'm just gonna bring out my um, Fortress. Again, thinking I'm slower than this thing since I'm sassy. Go for the Vault Change, predicting the switch for some uh, odd reason. I have no idea. Nothing Shin um, Fortress would do to Rankerosa would be any great deal of damage. So I don't have no idea why I switched this thing out. So I guess I was just really scared of this thing. I know the one thing that could take this thing out is my choice banner. He he, the rumor. So what I'm actually doing is I'm accumulating a little bit of damage with the Earthquake, um, with the Fortress, right? And he's just going to spam the, uh, the Shadow Ball, knowing that I can't necessarily bring in Hehe to Ruma to take this thing out. So he's definitely going to bring it back in the Notori, right? I'm just going to spam the Earthquake until I die at the Fortress, knowing once again that I'm sacrificial where um, Fortress was concerned. You know, my previous team, I was sacrificial with Fortress and the uh, Water and Ghost Guy, as you guys uh, kind of saw throughout my gameplay. So I'm just going to switch back out into Tentacle to try to rapid spin off the uh the entry hazards that he wants to set up but he definitely is going to predict that and um i can't switch back in blissey taking the thunderbolt and the um focus blast because i definitely did definitely did not use softboard yet so i'm definitely going to have to sacrifice my fortress right and then um bring back in the blissey so that it can survive the focus blast uh despite it being life warp and then i could just um soft softboard off the damage that i just um took actually so that's two threats now. So this is looking quite tedious, but I'm still still concerned about that of Vaporeon there. I know the choice band in Hihi Duruma can knock out Notori and the um the rank Rosu actually. So I'm just gonna now use Flamethrower, which is pretty awesome. Turns out to be a two-hit KO, which is not what I expected. I actually expected it to be a three-hit KO. Um but then again I forgot that is is Blissey over me using Chansey with the Evil Stone. So Chansey with the Evil Stone wouldn't necessarily do all too much damage with the despite having a flamethrower. So he's just definitely gonna step a little layer. Spice, th me thinking that he was definitely going to switch out to try to save his Notori for later on, but he doesn't do that. I'm just going to take this chance to wreck that thing with the frame, uh, f flame blitz. I'm just going to say flame blitz, I'm stuttering. The flare blitz, flare blitz, right? And uh, he's definitely going to bring out this thing, and despite it being poison, I can't stay in some choice banded. He can one shot me with the um, the boiling water, right? So he's definitely going to do Boiling Water on the switch to Tentacruel, gets a crit and a burn. So I definitely do have a weird set of my Tentacruel, I definitely do have um, the Icy Wing. So me thinking that he can't do all too much to me at the same time, wasn't actually suspecting the Boiling Water for some weird reason, but it is 30% chance for the burn. So it kind of is an ideal kind of move, but I wasn't expecting it being that he does pack the Toxic. So those two statuses, you know, kind of collide with each other when you're trying to inflict status on one another. So I set up just another still spice for no really for no real reason actually because nothing else can really be affected i was really aiming to get the vaporeon with the um the second layer of toxic spice so i wouldn't have to stay in and i'm worried about it all too much if it does definitely does want to sub stall me not sub stall me protect wish stall me or whatever you know but um it's gonna be quite tedious now to try to take this thing out being that he's wish protect oh my goodness so um he's just gonna bring out this thing right and um go for the u-turn right and um, I'm just keep thinking of Wish Protect. Maybe he's not, you know? I don't know. Maybe he's not. So I'm just going to bring out my um, my Blissey to try to uh, make sure this thing gets hit with the boiling water to try to get off a burn rather than getting off a toxic status being that I have to switch out my Blissey and then maybe risk uh, getting my Hee Hee Daruma hit off with the, um, the boiling water and then losing this match because I don't have the Hee Hee Daruma. Right? So I'm like, great. I hope this thing doesn't have protect now is either now or never and we're just here now and he does protect and he does indeed get on my nerves because of that now I'm just in for a long store fest so let me just uh, go back you know maybe just go in the back and get something to eat because this is just crazy scenario I can't believe that I'm stuck here in a star war maybe if I had my glide score plus two or something like that I just, just don't know jeez did you have to use that? <laughs> you know, I'm just only complaining because it's used, you know, against me. I'm not necessarily complaining because it is a Pokemon. You can use whatever you want against me. But he definitely is going to go for the Wish again. So I'm like, yes, at the moment. But I'm like, wait a minute. He has Protect again. So he's definitely going to Protect. But wait a minute. I can use the chance to switch back out into Hee Hee Daruma, right? Just to try to get off the um, the U-turn uh, while he recovers with the Wish. And I'm like, okay, you know. You're becoming really annoying right now. So he's just going to go for the protect, I believe, just to see what I do. But that's actually a mistake on his part because what happens is that he accumulates a little bit more toxic damage than he covered with the leftovers. So I'm like, he think I think he realized his mistake. And um, he's going to take two turns to try to set up the wish and then go for the protect again, which will be accumulated with the U-turn uh, the that I do as well as the toxic 
that um, he has at the moment. So he's definitely going to switch out his Swellow for uh, Death Rider because he definitely did realize his mistake that he went for the Protect again. He should have actually went for the Wish if he definitely did want to stall me out again. So I'm just going to predict him um, going for the Recover now as opposed to me going for the Shadow Sneak. And I'll try to finish this game off because if I do damage this thing severely, I can just bring in the Choice Band and Hee Hee Daruma and wreck everything with the Flare Blitz, which is exactly what I do. So that was definitely a good game. Uh, definitely do have a lot of fun. Viewers, do not forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and continue to enjoy the rest of my videos. Peace. Blah blah blah, mini game nostalgia. Blah 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 blah, watch my video. Blah 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 blah, I will kill you if you don't. Enjoy.